Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Luminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video we're going to address one of my pet peeves with Zoom presentations, which is that moment when the presenter says, I'm going to start a screen share, and then proceeds to fumble through the user interface to make sure that they can pull up the right view to share the screen, and it just kills the momentum of any talk or conversation that's going on. So we're going to fix that in this video by using Zoom OSC and the BitFocus Companion to create a button on the Stream Deck that can start a screen share on a particular display. And we'll go through a couple of different things about Zoom OSC in the process, and hopefully you'll find this interesting. So let's jump into BitFocus Companion. So uh, here I am on a fresh page of the BitFocus Companion, and we have already put out a video on um, how to set up Zoom OSC with this application. So feel free to review that as a sort of primer to this one. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on a button, and I'm going to set the button type to be a regular button. And I'm going to do screen share as the name of this button. And um, I am going to not really worry about styling it right now. Um, but you can see you can set the color, the font size, all of that stuff, so it doesn't look kind of odd when it's uh, when it's laid out there on the key. But we'll leave it like that for now. Um, the key down action, we're going to look up an OSC, and we're going to do a um, send message without arguments. And the message that we're going to send is slash zoom slash me slash start screen share primary. So start screen share primary is the free command in Zoom OSC Essentials that lets you start a screen share on the primary display on your computer. So um, this command uh, will basically immediately start a screen share if I'm in a Zoom call. So here I am in a Zoom call um, and screen sharing is enabled. I'm, you know, I'm checking to see that yes, if I hit the button, I can in fact actually share my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Uh, we don't want to fumble through the user interface, wait for it to load and find those buttons. We want to just do it with a single press. So I'm going to hop back into the companion and I'm going to look at, um, we were just on here, the, the page eight. And if I jump back into the emulator and I, uh, you'll see that, yes, this button is here. And so when I sort of shrink down this view, so you can get an appreciation for this, when I hit the screen share button, I immediately am thrown into a screen share and you can see I'm starting to capture myself over there and I have a couple different instances of this open but um, if I stop the screen share everything sort of bounces back to normal and um, that was effective in starting the screen share that was my goal now uh, it would be nice to have an additional button to stop the screen share so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a regular button again this is also going to be a message without arguments and this is going to be slash zoom slash me slash stop share. This will start. This will stop a screen or window share when it's in progress. And we'll name this stop share. So now if I go back to the emulator, you'll see the two buttons have appeared. I'll shrink this back down and I will hit the screen share and we'll start the screen share immediately. And I'll hit the stop share and we will stop the screen share. Um, again, if I, this is the emulator and I'm doing this for the purpose of sort of visual presentation, but, uh, if you had a physical stream deck, you could just have the presenter tap the button and tap the button to, uh, start and stop. So the, um, the evolution of this in Zoom OSC Pro is that we actually give you the ability to, um, uh, share a specific screen, uh, inside of, uh, Mac OS, we also let you share a specific window. So the command for that is, um, is the list screens. That's how you learn what the screens are so that you can program in your button to share the right display for your computer. So I'm gonna create a new button on the new row and it's gonna be a regular button again. And this will also be a, uh, a message without arguments. And this will be slash zoom slash me slash list screens. Okay, and we'll just say list. And over here, let me pull up my Zoom OSC sidecar application and go over to the console page. And you'll see I'm in Zoom OSC Pro. So when I click the, uh, let me put this on a sort of side by side. When I hit the list button, what you'll see is it says that I've added three displays. That's correct. I have three displays that hooked to this computer. And this sort of slash slash dot slash thing, this is the name of that display that you can enter in as a string into Zoom OSC, OSC arguments. And that'll be how it identifies that display. You can also do them by index. So this would be uh, display zero, display one, display two, if you wanted this to pass a, a numeric value, but I'm gonna go ahead and send a string. So I'm going to create a set of three buttons now. I'm gonna, again, the regular button, and this one will be a send string. And the pro command is slash zoom slash me slash start screen 
share, no, no primary, because we're actually going to specify it. And what we saw was the command was, um, uh, let me look at that layout again. It was uh, backslash, backslash, dot, backslash, and then display one. So backslash, backslash, dot, backslash, display, I think all caps, yep, display one. Okay. So, uh, and we'll say this will just be one. So back in the emulator, this should do the same thing as start screen share primary. And yes, in fact, it does. Um, that's because it's the first display. So now if I go back in here and I create sort of a copy of this button, so I hit copy, click the button I want to copy, click the place I want to copy it to, and then repeat again. I can now change these to two and three. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just increment these to two and three respectively. And um, this means that now back inside of the emulator, I can begin my screen share and you can see my screen share uh, sort of in the window behind me. And then I can switch my screen share. And uh, you'll note that I have just jumped over to a different display. And then I can jump back to the third display where you will find that uh, I'm hanging out. Um, here I am, hello, with all my windows in front of me. And then finally I can stop my shares again. And it's pretty instant. It doesn't look fast because Zoom is capturing itself in that video. But for the presenters, uh, or sorry, for the participants, it actually is very quick when you uh, cut between those different screen shares. Um, so the other thing I'm going to be able to do uh, is make this a little bit more ergonomic for me. I'm going to add a key off action. And that key off action is going to be the stop screen share. So what this is going to mean is that when I hold the one, two, or three button, I'll be screen sharing that display. And when I release the key, I'll be stopping my share. So this will be really nice when I want to just quickly pull something up on one display. And I don't want to have to hit two buttons. I just want to hold it while I'm explaining something, release the key when I want to stop explaining it. So that'll be slash zoom slash me slash stop share. Again, we've seen that before. And I'll do this on all three of these slash zoom slash me slash stop share. And again, message without arguments slash zoom slash me slash stop share. So now back in the emulator again, throwing it up side by side, click and hold, I'm sharing, release, and I'm not sharing. Hold two, I'm sharing screen two, release, I stop scrolling screen two. And hold on three and release on three. So this is a really easy way for the presenters to be able to display all of the different screens and make it easy for the audience to not lose momentum. We're in the middle of a presentation. So it's a, it's a helpful workflow. It's one of my pet peeves, and this is how you can solve it using Zoom OSC. Again, it's a, this is sort of the, the quick explanation of it. You'd obviously want to add more polish. You'd want to not be in a situation where you're capturing your own screen over and over again. But once you sort of work those things out, this can become a very powerful workflow, uh, especially if you add the hardware controller for the stream deck and just give them the hardware. They don't have to understand how all of this is wired up and hooked up. You create that for them. You've given them an embedded system that's really powerful for their presentation. So hopefully that gives you some perspective on Zoom OSC and the things it can do and help solve this pet peeve of screen sharing. Happy Zooming.